Hey everybody, what's up? Thank you so much for coming back and watching. So if I look a little crazy, if my hair looks a little undone, it's because today's video is actually gonna be a hair tutorial. Now I've gotten this question a good amount of times already asking me how I curl my hair, how I style short hair, and basically what I'm gonna do is just go over my entire curling routine, I guess. And honestly, I, I'm not super high maintenance with my hair. I feel like I just put a couple products in, curl it, and then my curls will last for a couple days. So I'm pretty lucky in that department. So I'm just gonna go over that, the technique that I use and everything. So if you guys are interested in that, then just keep on watching. All right, so first off, my hair right now is freshly washed hair. I just washed it maybe like an hour ago. And then I used a blow dryer to dry it off. And basically the two products Products that I swear by when it comes to my hair are these two products right here. This is a small bottle of Moroccan oil. This is the Moroccan oil oil treatment. It's the original one, I believe. Oh, actually, this is the light version. So I love this. I have been using this for years and years and years. I definitely prefer it over argan oil. I love the way it smells. It's literally like my favorite scent in the world. It smells like orange blossoms. I believe that's what it is. Yeah. And it's such a light oil. It makes your hair super shiny, very, very smooth, helps with uh, frizz and stuff, which I have a really bad problem with because where I live, it's very, very humid. And yeah, so I like to put this in my hair when it's damp. I like to just towel dry my hair a little bit. I'll wait like maybe 10 minutes or so before I put this um, into my hair. I'll put a little bit in the palm of my hands, rub it in really, really nicely so it gets really warm. And then I start from the tips of my hair and then work it up. And I really enjoy doing that. I feel like the scent in itself is worth it. And also just the effect that it has in my hair is also really great. The second product that I've been using is the Avita Color Conserve Daily Color Protect. I've been using this, I think, since last summer whenever I got my hair done at the salon that I go to now. Um, but I was recommended this by my hairstylist and she said that this would help uh, conserve the color, obviously, hence Color Conserve. And it smells really nice. It's a little more natural. If you guys aren't a big fan of that scent, then I don't think you would like it. I personally really like it. It reminds me of my salon so it feels like a freshly washed salon treatment type of thing. What I'll do is I'll get a quarter size um, into my hand and rub it in really, really well. And then I'll start at the middle where I have the most color going on in my hair, if you can see that. And I'll kind of just go like this, zhuzh it up a little bit, <laughs> and then I'll work my way down. I'll go in and kind of just like massage it through. And that's basically what I do. I will use other products and stuff in my hair, but those two are the main ones that I use to prep my hair for curling. And every day, really, whenever I wash my hair. I don't wash my hair every day. I do use dry shampoo religiously. I jump between dry shampoos. I'm not really too picky. I like the Batiste one and also the Not Your Mother's one, but the unscented one because the scented one is like kind of lemony and I don't really enjoy that. Okay, so the first thing that I do when I curl my hair is I section my hair off. I'll leave a very thin layer to curl. Um, so... This is what we're left with, if you guys can see that right there. It's a really, really thin layer. So I'm going to just clip up the rest and I have this little clip thingy. It's like the little claw thing. <laughs> I love this. I use it all the time. And since I used that Moroccan oil earlier, I'm not gonna be using a heat protectant. You definitely can if you have it. I actually don't have one on hand. The curling iron that I prefer to use is this Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. It is an inch and three quarters, I believe. And the way that I do my curls, I don't start at the very bottom and curl upwards. I kind of like to, um, let's see, this is really hard to do without a mirror. Okay, you can do this. All right, so I like to start kind of in the middle and then bring it down and then go back up. And I don't go up too high. The key to curling my hair is having a little piece of hair like that right there, um, having it kind of stick out because that'll make it look more natural. It'll, it'll make it look like, you know, you don't have super, super curly hair. So that's my curl right there. And when I release it, I don't 
undo the curl, if that makes sense. I kind of release the barrel and then pull downwards. So again, for you guys to see, I just start in the middle, go down a little, and then work my way back up, just like that. I hold it for like five to 10 seconds, just depending, and um, I'll leave it there. And I like using my curling iron at the highest temperature that it has. I think this one is 450. So I'll just do that for a little while, and then I will release it. I'll press on this handle right here, kind of like pulse it, release it, and go downwards. And there you go. So I'm just gonna do that with the rest of this layer. And making sure that I always have like an inch or two of hair that's left at the end that's out of the barrel. Okay, and then once that section is done, I will just release another section. I usually like to do my curls in three sections. So I'll do the bottom, the middle, and then the very, very top. So I'm just gonna release a little bit more right there, clip up the rest, and then do the exact same thing. And I'm taking pretty small sections of hair, if you can see that. It's like maybe an inch, maybe even less than an inch of um, thickness. It can be thick curls, it can be thin curls, but what makes it look natural is it's not so uniform and I really, really enjoy that look. So I achieve that by doing different widths of hair, just curling different amounts of hair each time. And also, another thing that I make sure to do is I'll make the curls go in different directions. So most of the time I'll be curling my hair inwards, but I will also take sections and curl them towards my face. So instead of going over the curl with the barrel, I'm gonna go underneath the curl now. So just taking it where the clamp is behind the hair and then curling the other direction. And I like to do this with almost every other section that I pull. And I think that this makes it look really, really natural. I really like the undone look. Um, and yeah, I won't do it to the very first one because then it'll be like curling into your face and that just looks a little funny to me. So I'll do it maybe to the second or third section that I pull. And I'm literally just continuing the same process all throughout the perimeter of my hair. So the last section of hair is a little different. I like to curl it just a tad differently. The only difference is that I take even smaller sections of hair because I feel like this is where it shows the most, obviously, and you can do way more definition when you, um, when you curl smaller sections of hair. Holding it for a little longer than I was holding the other sections just because I want these top curls to last the longest and then pulling it down while pulsing the, the clamp. And we're still doing different directions. You can honestly just do it whenever you feel like it. So getting as close to the top of my head as possible and just doing this, just doing this whole thing until the very end. <laughs> I think another key to doing the loose wave, the more natural wave thing, is not to hold your hair in the curling iron for too, too long. The less heat that it receives, then the less curly it is. All right, and when I get closer to the front of my hair, where my bangs are, then I like to just do the ends of this part. So I'll just curl it in just like that and then let it go right away. So curl it and then release it. So you're really just pulling the curling iron through it. So the two finishing products that I like to use are these two. This is my Avita Air Control Hairspray. It's a really light spray, but it also holds really well. And then my Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Finishing Spray. So what I do is I take my fingers 
and I don't run them through really. I kind of just take it and I zhuzh just like this really, really lightly just to make the curls a little less crazy. So I go in and I do this throughout my entire head. It's really nothing fancy at all. And this way, if anything's not looking as curly as I want it to be, then I can go back in with my curling iron and fix it up. But it looks like we did a pretty good job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first use my Bumble and Bumble thickening spray, really shake this up, and then I'm gonna be using it on the first layer and then bringing it in as well. So I like to do this in um, like random spurts, I guess. And this is really gonna add some texture to your hair, especially if it's freshly washed, like mine right now. And then this part of my hair lays flat sometimes, so I like to take it right underneath. Hold it for a second, and then drop it, and kinda zhuzh it up. That's the word of the video, zhuzh. <laughs> and once I feel like I have enough of that spray in there, enough texture, then I just seal it all in with my hairspray. Okay guys, and that is my entire hair tutorial, how I get wavy, kind of messy, um, natural looking waves. This is what I like to do whenever I do my hair. I really, really like it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please let me know by commenting, liking this video, and also subscribing for more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.